Mr. G Shave here, Saturday face shave day. Uh, I think this is number 39. Um, and um, rather surprisingly, uh, it's a rugby day. So for my friends in America, I'm sure you've probably heard of rugby by now, but um, it's uh, currently Ireland are playing France, no, Ireland are playing Italy. Tonight, the Wales are playing uh, France, so that'll be interesting. But obviously Ireland are winning against Italy at the moment. Uh, I do feel sorry for the Italians. Uh, you'll get there eventually. Keep keep going. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Um, but yeah, so um, the main competition was postponed due to COVID-19. And they've restarted it without spectators and things like that. So... So that's what's happening today. Um, uh, it's gone half time. I think it was 24.10 at half time or when I went down just before I started this shave. So <clears throat> that's the state of play, 24.10 uh, to Ireland. So what am I using today? Um, I'm going to go back to my usual system software first. I'm going with BAM BE for, uh, as a pre-shave. Uh, Phoenix and Bow Iceni or Iceni. Um, I hope that's in focus. It should be. Um, following that up with Humphrey's uh, Cucumber and Melon Witch Hazel. Um, so, is that. And then after smelling the, the soap, because it is a hard soap, the closest aftershave I could get to it was CAD. So, which is quite interesting because this is a PAA, I believe, you know, it's a Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements um, aftershave and a Phoenix and Bow um, soap and post-shave balm. So that's it there, there's Iceni. So yeah, so that's the software. Lots of Phoenix stuff but from two different companies. Um, hardware wise, I'm going with my Pro, um, sorry, Omega bore brush. Uh, I forget, I think this is the Omega 49 um, Pro. So quite a cheap brush. Nice brush, it's been soaking while I had my shower. Um, one of the items in my, um, in my den that I haven't shown is my Ted Baker shaving mug which is um, I had a which is one of the original items I got a shaving kit for Christmas and it had that shaving brush that I mentioned in my beginner videos and so on and talked about my brushes and the one brush that I have thrown is the one that came with this it was just a pla hollow plastic handle and all the hairs just fell out within about five or six shaves so it was a waste of time um, but yeah, that I've still got that, which is great. Um, and I use that this time to soak my brush. Um, I'm going hardware wise. I'm using the Moore R49, R49, R41. <laughs> um, so look at that, that's uh, quite an aggressive razor. But there we are. So, and I in there, I've got Voshkod blades. So I've put Voshkod in there. And the thing I like about Voshkod is they're one of the only companies that I've got that I, you know, out of the blades that I have in my den, it's the only company that has a really nice wrapper, color wrapper. And whilst I have other blades that are double wrapped, these are double wrapped. Um, so there's two parts to the wrapping, which I think is a really nice touch. Um, so, so yeah, Voshkot blade in, in my razor. So what I'm gonna do now is get myself ready for the shave, put my pre-shave on, and um, I'll be right back to start the shave. Right, uh, got everything ready. I'm ready to rock and roll as such. I haven't put the pre-shave on. I decided I was going to put that on on camera. Um, so wet the head down a bit. 
and that's the Bambi gel pre-shave gel as you can see I've used a fair bit of it and that's all I'm going to use it's just that little bit there so <clears throat> just put some on both sides <laughs> you know what I've done I've put water on my head <laughs> there you go um, yeah so just rubbing the pre-shaving rinsing my fingers off now for those that don't know for those that are that are unaware of the reputation of this razor the Moolah 41 is nicknamed the beast because it's one of the most if not the most I don't think it, it I think it's lost its title um, of being the most aggressive razor um, so yeah I, I, I don't think it has that title anymore I'm not sure which one has but believe you me the Moolah 41 is one of the most aggressive razors and it's not a beginner razor at all um, so let's uh, start off with lathering up so this Phoenix and Bow is a British manufacturer quite well known in the UK and I'm pretty sure he's, he's fairly well known in the US as well now um, when you're loading with a, a natural hairbrush I think you, you really need to go over the top um, really really load it heavily um, because I find that natural bristles are quite thirsty with the soap um, and I don't find them as easy to lather as um, as a synthetic brush so <clears throat> but there we are right so that's all that's loaded up and I'm going to lather on the face so a bit more water and here we go The, the scent from this um, Icini or Icini soap, it, it, it's, it's really nice. It's, it's certainly a five, um, it, four to five I would say. It's not, it's not hitting you in the face, but it's really nice. You know, it's not a mild scent. I wouldn't put it in the mild bracket um, right this is going to need some water so initially just paint that on <clears throat> So yeah, if you don't watch my head shaves, and I'll always ask the question, I hope everybody's had a good week, and what have you been using? I think yesterday I asked a specific question, which nobody's answered yet. Out of, out of all the shaves you've had this week, has there been a standout shave? Um, and if so, which shave was it? What were you using, and what product was the standout product, and why? So there you go. Um, see if somebody answers that you know because I might be in the market looking for something new and depending on what the answers are it give me ideas of as to what to maybe get for Christmas um, I've given up on the carve razor you just can't get them in the UK I understand that you know there's a problem with Covid and all of that but um, if you talk to a well-known Scottish supplier of shaving goods 
um, and I think he's the only outlet for carb in the UK. Um, he, you know, they placed an order. I think it was August September in 2019, and they still haven't seen any razors yet. So that was pre-COVID, which is a shame, really, because uh, carb's got a really good reputation as a razor. But I'm, you know, when you hear things like that, it doesn't really bode well. Um, right. So bearing in mind this is an aggressive razor you be very careful that when you first use this i mean you can really feel the blade on this this is a razor flash actually made a comment saying i should use this on my head yeah i don't think so flash <laughs> are you mad <laughs> i look like i've been attacked by the cherokee indians i've been scalped <laughs> it'd just be white bone left <laughs> Yeah, this is a razor you've got to be ultra careful with. Um, not really a razor for, well, certainly not a razor for a beginner. And I certain, and I would say you shouldn't really be contemplating using it until you're very, very comfortable shaving with a safety razor, DE razor. And even then, practice some more before you buy one. It took me a fair few years to actually go out and buy one of these. As long as you're careful with it though, it'll give you an excellent shave. Um, you'll definitely get a BBS shave with this, that's for sure. Um, but you might get more than a BBS. A bloody bad shave, BBS. <laughs> Lots of blood. <laughs> um, you just have to be ultra, ultra careful. Let the head do the work. Do not apply any kind of pressure to this because it will bite you. And it certainly has, has any safety razor, but this one more so than most, has the cap capacity of leaving you with a scar if you cut yourself with it. Um, depends how badly you do it, but... So you just need to be very careful. So that's the first pass done. So far so good. The razor is extremely efficient. The soap is excellent, nice and slick. Um, I, I do like Phoenix and Bow soaps. Now this is the problem I have with you know natural bristles it just doesn't you know I can go in for the second pass and there's no lather left so I'll lather up again and hopefully this time will be more successful. I, I just, you know, I mean, that's the thing with natural fibre brushes, at least the, all the brushes that I own, all the natural fibre brushes that I own do that. They just suck in the, the uh, moisture. Even though I've actually soaked that brush for a good 10 minutes while I was having my shower. So going across the grain now, so across the grain on this side is straight up. Being ultra careful. And then on my left hand side or your right, it's a cross is a cross. It 
Yeah, you never want to get overconfident with this. So, second pass done. This will be interesting to see if it soaked up the soap again. So, all my friends in the US, uh, those that haven't voted yet, yeah, must be it, either an, an election is going to bore the hell out of you, as elections in this country do to me. Um, I have a habit of holding on to my remote control and changing channels whenever you get one of the candidates come on TV. Um, so, as I say, I'm not really into politics. I watch what's on the news and stuff, but when you, you've got to always bear in mind that every news channel has its agenda. So, right, against the grain, third pass. And this is where you've really got to concentrate. I can really feel the blade on this pass. The Voskov blade's doing well. It's doing very well. I haven't used Voskov in many of my razors, but I know I know from watching other channels that Voskov are a popular brand. So against the grain on this side it, for you would be across all most people and you mustn't mustn't ever uh, apply pressure because even without I think I, I think there's a little bit of blood there even without any pressure at all it's still likely that you're going to have a little bit of blood. Right, pick up pass. That feels really good actually. There's not a lot left, if I'm honest. The usual spots there. Um, but nothing else really. It's BBS pretty much everywhere else. <clears throat> so there we are. <clears throat> Brilliant. I can tell you straight away, yeah, there's nothing left. So, you have to concentrate with that, that's why I'm so quiet. <laughs> 
So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean up and then I'll come back and finish off the shave. So be right back. Right, all cleaned up. Razor's clean. Um, brush is clean. Everything's all ready to be put away. So that's what I always do at the end of a three pass shave. I'm just in between sort of putting on the witch hazel and everything else, I clean everything up, clean my head, face, head, everything, get all the soap off and uh, prepare myself. So for the cold rinse. <laughs> so I'm glad I don't live up in Scotland because I think ice cubes come out of their taps. Um, but yeah, certainly in the winter. Right. Nice cold water. On with the alum. Oh, I suspected there's definitely some burn with this one. Not as much as I thought. Certain places, yes. Maybe where I've overshaved it a bit, but it's actually not too bad. So whether that was down to technique or down to the blade, I'm not sure. It was a very smooth shave, but you could feel the blade at all times. And yet the blade exposure, when you look down from the top on that razor, you can hardly see the blade. And it's very, very little blade exposure. <clears throat> but yeah. So yeah, I got away with that one. I'm quite pleased that that didn't sting as much as I thought it was going to sting. If you were watching my video yesterday, I had to cut out a whole section because I got soap in my eye. <coughs> and there was some choice language because it really hurt. So I had to redo a whole section. Um, I talked about the chaos that ensued trying to set it all up, disorganised chaos. And I sort of mentioned that, you know, everything went wrong, could go wrong, I cut my arm. And but this, this arm is, if I push on that now, that's still fresh blood in there. It, it took forever. In fact, there's, you know, I woke up this morning and there was blood all over the bed. So it just didn't stop for hours and hours and hours and hours. Um, I daren't touch it now because if I do, I know it'll just start bleeding again, the slightest touch. So, right, that's the uh, alamon. Now to take it off. Yeah, I've never had a cut like that. And I'm not on blood thinners like aspirin or warfarin or anything like that. So, but my blood must be thun, thin because it's not clotting properly, certainly from the experience of that, it just didn't stop all night. Right, let's put on the uh, Humphreys Cucumber and Melon Witch Hazel. I actually rate this stuff, it's really quite good. I get the cucumber and then I get the melon. Really nice. Really, really nice and refreshing. And I don't think there's any alcohol in this. It's not stinging at all. Um, however, I'm pretty sure that there is alcohol in the CAD aftershave. So, but again, after the experience of that alum, well, this is definitely stinging more than the alum, but it, wow. Um, but you'd expect that lovely scent. Oh, really nice. Goes really well with that Phoenix and Bow Iceni or Sinai. And then last but not least, I've got the Phoenix and Bow Post Shave Lotion Iceni, same as the soap. So I'm going to put a few squirts there. So I'm literally just putting that much. And a really nice, it's a mild scent, really mild scent on the post-shave lotion. But 
very pleasant. Very pleasant, and I definitely say goes well with the soap. So, right, so that's the end of my shave. I'll see you next Friday. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, this has stopped bleeding. <laughs> yeah, it'll have stopped by then. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm not sure what I'm going to use next Friday, but we'll see. Should have really waited for Halloween for this one, but there you go. Um, so it's bye bye from me, it's bye bye from the Moolah 41 or bye bye from the beast. See you again next week. Bye now.